How do folks, how are you doing? On this beautiful, beautiful foggy day. <laughs> I love this weather. And I love being out and about on this weather. But hey. That's, that's what we're seeing and dealing with. But hey, um, like I say, I love it. I love uh, being in the motor in this weather. In all bad weather, I love it. I don't know why. It's just one of them things that floats my boats. Um, but I, I do find it's a little bit awkward because I'm a little bit faster than every single other body on the road. Um, not that I drive nuts in this weather, it's just that I am comfortable in this weather, whereas most folks aren't. Uh, so it does put me literally behind everybody and everybody's in my way. So I'm choosing the country lanes. And we're coming down this beautiful little country village. That is normally rolling, rolling hills. The views on that are normally absolutely beautiful. But anyway, that's that's a bit of that, hey, what's, what we're doing. <laughs> no lawful about it, I suppose, or unlawful about it. Um, get out in the countryside. Tears, tears for fears and all that shit. Uh, I heard it on the grapevine <laughs> that uh, there was a tier five now. Um, surprised no <laughs> there'll be a tier six and a tier seven and a tier eight because you're allowing them to do this tiptoe um anybody who's in fear of these tiers it exists for but the only thing i do know about these tiers is the fictions absolute fictions so uh what are you fucking about at kind of makes you wonder there's absolutely no reason whatsoever to be worried about them. The police, no, only for what you uh, give them, as we've done a million times on here. I do not answer questions, and it'll get you out of all sorts of shit that they would like to have you in. Uh, but, uh, but very, very easy to do. Do not answer questions and just keep repeating that, no matter what they say. Worst thing in the world, I see it all the time folks answering some questions and then say I don't answer questions on the tricky ones uh, you can't do that shit it looks exactly how it is you want to answer questions but then you don't want to answer the awkward ones so uh, you've got to not answer questions excuse me while I'm dribbling down my face <laughs> so anyway I, uh, this is just a bounce one I think we're just going to have a chat because uh, there's nothing in particular I want to talk about today uh, I just do want to put it out there about these fucking tears because people keep sending me shit and I don't get it I don't get why they do it because they know my attitude towards it they know exactly what I think of it and they send it me almost like they know I'm just going to say what you're sending me that bollocks for um, so don't send me that bollocks <laughs> I don't care in the slightest what the government is saying. I don't care what they're doing. It means nothing to me at all. I don't watch it, I don't keep up with it. I hear somewhere down on the grapevine that, uh, that a new tears come in. But only because everybody's crying these fucking tears. You know, if nobody fucking, uh, pardon the language, but hey, my vocabulary. But if, if nobody reacted to it, and nobody perpetuated it. I wouldn't even know that these fucking tears existed. <laughs> so surely, by that very definition, neither would you. So you know if you're one of them that keeps passing this on, and I know you've got these great excuses, no, I only do it because of blah, 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 you're perpetuating it. And it don't matter why you're doing it, you're perpetuating it. You're helping them. You're not helping us, you're perpetuating it. The best way you could help us is for us not to know out about it. We don't put the fucking news on. We don't need to know. All these idiots who want to follow it, let them fucking follow it, because they are fucking done. They're blind. You cannot do a damn thing for them. You cannot do a damn thing for them. Trust me, I've tried. I've tried. With all I have, I've tried. Now, if, I've, if I can't, with all I have, 
I'm not saying I'm any better than you, but you've got to start looking at the fact that I can put real fucking effort into a, a concerted effort into a, a directed uh, effort to uh, to try and wake them, and I can't even dint the fucking armor. So, just trying to save you, wasting your fucking breath and your time and your effort and your energy, because they are turning into energy vampires, and energy vampires that aren't even asking for us. That's the worst thing. They don't want us. They don't want us telling them. They don't want to know. Yet we're destroying our souls, <laughs> telling soulless entities that uh, that what they're doing is uh, stupid. <laughs> give up. Just give up. Let's all just give up. Shall we just uh, we just create this little group where where we uh, don't talk about any of this bullshit at all and we just talk about how you're doing sort of shit. <laughs> and anybody mentions any of it, we just kick them straight out immediately. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Incompatible with this world, which uh, which the woken souls are, are rapidly becoming. I know I feel incompatible with this world. Um, but hey, it don't mean that we need removing from it, uh, really, it means they do, but we just sit here and we just ride it out, peacefully. See what we can do, see how much we can put up with. Absolutely bizarre though, isn't it? I can't believe, personally, how far it's going. I always knew they'd be able to do this, and I knew at the start it would be this. But to see it in action is just fucking bizarre. The level of stupidity when somebody says to you, I'd rather trust the science. You're refusing point blank to look at the fucking science. You're just listening to fucking idiots on the television. And they're, no, no, they're, they're telling you the science. <laughs> go and look at the fucking science. It's there, you can go and look at the science. But no, believe known liars. And, and even those that say they don't, they're still walking around like that. I'm out today and I'm thinking about it, right? I'm in uh, freezing conditions. It's freezing fog. Now, I would think that any particulates in the air, um, that viruses can't be airborne anyway, but but any, any whatever that could be bad for you that are particulates in the air floating around, I would think in freezing conditions, they'd kind of fall to the ground. Um, just what I know about chemistry and physics, but hey, don't quote me, I'm no expert, maybe somebody out there can tell me different, but you've got a fucking world of people still walking around in masks outside, and the thing is, it's not getting any better, it's getting fucking worse, it genuinely, genuinely is getting worse. It's not that more people are wearing masks, it's just that the mask wearers are wearing them more. <laughs> it's just that like, now it's just like, ah, oh, there's no point in taking it off my face, is there? Because I just have to keep putting it back on again. <laughs> so I'll just wake up, put it on, take it off before I go to bed. And to be fair, it's not going to be long before they suggest sleeping in them. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. But, there is a bright side to this, and, and I believe there genuinely is. Natural selection. Aren't we weeding out the fucking idiots? They're gonna get all the lung diseases that's caused by the mask, and then they're going to be told it's COVID, because it's a respiratory situation. Uh, and they're gonna die curled up of COVID, and, and yes, everybody's gonna be telling us that they knew somebody who died of COVID, there is that, but, but we can quietly just roll our fucking eyes and just watch them all fucking wither one at a time, surely. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. So there, anyway. Um, was that just a quick one? Have I got anywhere else to bounce to? Shall we bounce? What shall we bounce to? Fuel. Fuel. Here's one. Totally, totally left field. <laughs> fuel, diesel, petrol, whatever you float your boat. But diesel in particular, um, they make it, they make it for next to fuck all. They charge you a fortune, they always have. 
and they've always charged you the same. Don't think like fuel's gone this way, that way, and done this, that, and the other. No, it hasn't. You work it out per mile, and I look at mine, I've always done a tank, a tank full of fuel for around about the same sort of miles all my life on all my cars. And yes, you get motors that are fucking uh, more economical than others, but on tank to tank, I don't really notice much difference. Uh, maybe there is a slight difference, but anyway, slight probably uh, took that out in the cost anyway. So on, on cost per mile, I'm pretty sure I'm always the same and I I'm always have been the same. And, and they have always played with this factor and they've always uh, took our fucking eyes out with fuel. And it's just a game. It's another fucking fiction. The scarcity of fuel or the cost effective or the cost of producing fuel means that everybody has to chuck 100 quid a week in the tank or thereabouts. I don't know. Maybe you put a tenner in yours. Um, but, uh, but they've got literally everybody and it's another captive audience. Yet, let's say red diesel. They go and put some dye in it and now it can be a half the price or even a third of the price if you go to the right places um, but you can't have that because that's red <laughs> and that means you aren't paying tax so you're not paying tax so that means you're committing a crime tax is voluntary I'm not conducting commerce here I'm buying something that once I've purchased it, it's fucking mine. Now, let's say you go to get some red diesel. Let me say, for instance, you get yourself a thousand litre IBC tank. And you spend, I mean, let's say you did what, uh, what some might do. And you spend an expensive bit of kit, you get an expensive bit of kit, 500 quid. It'll get you a proper piece of kit that is designed to go on to an IBC tank. It'll have a pump that pumps fuel, um, just like a normal fuel pump, with a meter, click, 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 and an auto cut off. Um, and that'll cost you, like I say, 500 quid for the top one. You can get them for about 200 quid without the meter on. And if you, if you actually looked at what they are, you could make it yourself for probably less than 100 quid. Uh, but then you, you then get yourself uh, a supplier of red diesel, thousand litres. Say you went to the top end of the suppliers and got it properly. Maybe you know a farmer who'd do it for you, who pay around about 35p a litre. So, uh, so now look what you're paying for a thousand litres of fuel. And you can pump it in yourself. And, uh, and how much does that cost you? Now, what would you get? You'd get this uh, corporate legal entity come to you and say, you can't do that. Well, hang on a minute. I'm not conducting in commerce. I've purchased that red diesel. Is that lawful? Or even would you like to say, is it legal? They've got to say, yes. Yes, that's fine. It's what you do with it. Ah, hang on a fucking minute. I'm a man. I've bought a big fucking tub of fucking whatever. It is mine. And this little thing here, which I'm traveling around in, is also mine. And if I decide to put my property into my fucking property, who the fuck are you to tell me I can't do that? You tack, tack, excuse me, or what tax exactly? What, I'm a conducting commerce? No. Everything else is voluntary. Commerce is only because you're signing up for that. Uh, uh, you sign your signature for your, uh, for your, for your for-profit corporation, your, your uh, company's house registration number. You're signing their terms and conditions. So yes, you have to pay your tax if you want to do their things, unless you're clever. And, uh, you go along your way but however if you're not doing those such things you've got two items that are yours two pieces of property that are yours and if you put them together you reduce their ability to steal off you and if you like me 
spend an awful lot of money on fuel, you're saving an awful lot of money. Now, as the government will tell you, when it comes to saving money, it's already yours. So, if you then go and give it away, you'd be losing, wouldn't you? That's how the government teach you. That's what they say, isn't it? No, because if we cut that tax that's unlawful and you've proved to me is unlawful, we'd lose X amount of billions a year. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. But if I carry on fucking giving you your fucking cut like that of nothingness, it isn't like you've done anything for that cut. You've played no part in this whatsoever. And you've had a cut off everybody else that's in the fucking entire process. It ain't like you haven't been paid a piece of that pie anyway. I'm sorry, I don't consent to you eating my fucking pie. And I don't know what others think about that, but it ain't rocket science. And we're led to believe that these things are undoable. These things are, oh, you need to go and do this and you have to go and do... No, you do not. No, you do not. Things aren't rocket science. When you actually work out what a lot of companies do for you, what you think that you need these companies for, they're just fucking middlemen and you didn't need them in the fucking first place. You can do it yourself with a little bit of uh, money to put out. But you reap the benefits on the way back in, don't you? Ongoing. And if you're anything like me, in just over a month, you'd make your fucking money. It'd pay for itself. So, uh, hey, I don't know. I, I can only tell you, tell you what's out there in the world as possibilities. But I don't get why people aren't exploring other possibilities in their lives to reduce the expenditures in their lives. You know, austerity and all that, tighten your belts. The government taught us that in times like this, you must tighten your belt and you must cut off the excess. You must get rid of, get rid of the, the ones that are clinging on, just sapping your money and actually doing nothing for it. The government taught us that. So, uh, so hey take their education thank them thank them kindly for putting you in a position where you can save an awful lot of money and take these opportunities and look for other opportunities as well to cut out middlemen that don't deserve to be there well, I say middlemen a lot of the times they're not even middlemen are they they put themselves in as uh, imaginary principles they didn't need to be there at all handle your own affairs live your own life live it lawfully don't break laws but don't agree to corporate contracts either that, that don't agree with you and that in many ways are absolutely repugnant to a normal natural free way of life so hey uh, I guess we had a bit, a bit of a balance didn't we after all so anyway folks I'll leave you with that um, as always we have our own free will and informed consent it's a wonderful thing when uh, when we decide to imp actually apply it to our lives instead of just going along with suggestions and, and pretending that they're orders for the sake of an easy life that doesn't turn out to be too easy when you actually follow those uh, requests does it really? so hey, are you having an easy life or are you just trying to uh, not have the confrontation? how much is the confrontation worth? Count up how much, you, how much you spend on these parasites per year. <laughs> how much the parasite system sucks from you per year in stealth taxes. Well, I can tell you it's, it's, it's 85 plus percent of whatever comes in. It is absolutely, in fact, me and somebody was just talking about that the other day. But it is an absolute fact. On various taxes and various costs that you, you don't even know exist, the stealth tax is quite ingenious how they do some of them. Um, but basically, uh, your services go down, your product goes down, your prices go up. But, uh, but hey, how much is it worth to you? I, as I see it, every single man and woman out there is spending thousands and thousands and thousands where they do not need to per year on parasites. When in reality, you need to apply yourself, learn some shit, get out of these contracts. That's it, you can do it for free. You can do it for absolute free. Just apply yourself. Learn, 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 learn. Learn, learn, learn. 
experiment, talk to others that are doing things. But hey, or you can keep paying them thousands. I mean, just on fuel alone, how much do you spend that goes to them? And what portion of it goes to them? Uh, quite a fucking portion, as it happens. But hey, same with smoking, if you're a smoker. How much are you paying them? <laughs> yeah, 11 odd quid for a packet of fags that's worth a quid a summer. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Um, but hey, I'll leave you with it and uh, have fun. <laughs> Look after y'all. Bye.